It's a call that's telling me I'm here to serve. It's a need to make a difference in the world. 24 hours, day or night, these healing hands will make it right. Looking in their eyes, I know that I'm changing lives. Changing lives. Changing lives for the better. For the better. Changing lives. And hi again, everyone. Jim Knox along with Grace Sells. Welcome back to another edition of the Best Docs Network featuring, of course, Grace, some of the best doctors in the entire Dallas-Fort Worth area that help change people's lives. Now, up first on the show, we're going to hear how bariatric surgeon from My Bariatric Solutions, Dr. Scott Stowers, is able to be more accessible to his patients with a mobile unit for follow-ups. Initially, uh, we had a lot of trouble getting patients that were from outlying areas taken care of as far as their adjustments for their bands. When you adjust a lap band, it, what you're doing is you're accessing the port, which is located in your abdomen area, and you put saline in it, and it blows it up just like you would an inner tube. As the food goes into the stomach, in that, which we call the pouch, it has receptors, and with those receptors is what triggers to the brain that you're full. And by the lap band restricting and holding that food in that area, you will get a full feeling much quicker than what you would normally. We had a floral machine because we do all of our adjustments with an x-ray machine, and those were extremely expensive, and I had to figure out a way to get those to the patients. At that point, we decided to put that in a mobile unit, or we call it a lap band wagon, to do adjustments for patients on site, or at least in their area. This is where we do the actual follow-up appointments, and also do the fluoroscopy on the patients to make sure that their band is, is working and um, to see how much their band may need to be adjusted. The fluoroscopy machine is like a live video. They drink barium. It allows us to actually visualize it going down the esophagus in through the, the lap band and into the stomach. This gives us an idea of how everything is working inside. It's just as sanitary, just as sterile. We use the same procedures as, as if we were in the emergency room or in the office. Because follow-ups are so important to our patient's success, um, we've made it possible now for all patients, regardless of the type of procedure that they've had, to be able to do their follow-ups on board the lap bandwagon, which makes it beneficial for the ones in Abilene, Amarillo, Waco, the different locations that we drive to. But we are the only practice in the country that has a mobile unit, and we're really proud to, to have this. BestDocsNetwork.com helps you find the right doctor for your medical needs. Watch videos on each doctor and decide for yourself who fits you best. On the Best Docs Network homepage, you can see the latest videos, search for a doctor, find educational content, and watch the latest TV episodes from each BDN market. I never intended to have a facelift. However, I had married a gal for several years and during those time I gave her lots of plastic surgeries and then I found out that she had uh, after she left she actually got remarried and a fellow showed me her picture on Facebook and she looked at 55 she looked absolutely wonderful uh, just really good and I thought to myself you know if I could pay the money for the plastic surgeries for her I bet you I have enough money to pay for it for myself. John is a very intelligent gentleman who was close to 70 years of age and he wanted facial rejuvenation surgery, but he wanted a very natural look. He didn't really want to necessarily look that much younger. He wanted to look rested, and he wanted to look good, and that's what he was after, which was very realistic for a gentleman who's close to 70 years of age. It is unfortunate that more men do not choose to get a facelift because it makes a tremendous difference in their appearance. They get their chin back, they get all the wrinkles taken out of their face, and 
they look younger and obviously they're going to have more respect when they're younger. There's many actors and other prominent figures in our community where the males have had facelifts and they look like they've had a facelift. They have almost an unnatural look. In a gentleman, you have to be extremely careful because if you make him unnatural, you tend to feminize him. And I think the last thing a male wants is feminization of the face. They just want rejuvenation of the face. So I believe that we were able to achieve all that, yet giving him a very natural look to the point that he doesn't look like he's had facial rejuvenation surgery. The surgery has given me a confidence to put myself on some of the dating services, the, the dot coms, and uh, the results have been excellent. I've uh, probably had a different date at least once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week, and the, the number of people responding to me. I realized that they were younger and younger and younger, and typically the people that respond to me are aged somewhere between 50 and 55, and that's not bad for somebody 68. I'm very, very pleased with that. Having a beautiful smile can significantly boost your self-esteem. Let's take a look how cosmetic dentist Dr. Guy Lewis was able to help Sandy smile more with a painless smile makeover. As I was aging, I guess, my teeth weren't as pretty as they used to be, so I found that I wasn't smiling as much as I used to. You know, Sandy's a very beautiful lady. Um, a lot of the patients I see, probably the majority of patients I see, are women, you know, over the age of 40, who a lot of times, you know, they, they take care of themselves, they stay in shape, they look great. But there's just some things they want to do to try to look younger. And for Sandy, you know, getting her teeth whiter, straightened up a little bit with the veneers was perfect for her. I've seen a lot of Dr. Lewis's work and have been so impressed. So I came to see him and I'm so glad I did because now I smile all the time. It just really works great for a lot of people and she was a perfect candidate for that. It's amazing to me that doing the, doing the veneers like we did for her, which is a pretty simple two-visit process, two or three weeks apart, what a difference it can make in how someone looks. I mean, and literally 10 or 15 years younger. It's painless. It doesn't take long. Dr. Lewis is very um, sensitive to, to your feelings, how you want to look. He's a good listener. He listens to how I wanted my smile and my teeth to look, and he did exactly what I wanted. It can be done so to where it's not like people look at you and go, wow, where'd you have your teeth done? But they look at you and go, man, you look great. You know, what have you done? Have you been working out more? Or you just look, it's, so it's a, for some people, if their teeth are really bad, yeah, it's gonna be a noticeable change. But for other people, it's just one of those things to where you just look good, you look more alive, you look more refreshed, you just look better, but it's not just a glaring, oh, what did you do to your teeth, you know? My family would say, okay, what did you do? Something's different, your smile is beautiful. Did you get your hair cut? I just feel so good about my smile now. Smiling's good. I'm not a big fan of going to the dentist, so this was a big deal for me, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Coming up next, we'll learn about the importance of having a set bedtime and how it can help you get better rest. Plus, see how one doctor can give you a facelift without going under the knife. All this and more when we return. Imagine designing your own perfect face and body. Turn to Dr. Robert Wilcox, who specializes in face and body procedures, as well as many non-surgical alternatives. Dr. Wilcox understands that your life and appearance matter most. With an extensive educational background and exceptional eye for detail, you can now look as young as you feel. Call for a complimentary consultation and regain your confidence today. Best Stocks Network doctor and official eye doctor to the Dallas Cowboys, Dr. Harvey Carter, the expert for all your vision needs. See the world differently in only a day. Specializing in LASIK, cataracts, and crystal lens. Visit Dr. Carter today for the ultimate eye experience. Call now and receive $2,000 off your LASIK procedure. When seeing is believing. Dr. Harvey Carter, the official eye doctor to the Dallas Cowboys. 
To find a doctor on bestdocsnetwork.com, you can search by your location and the doctor's specialty. From there, you can search through the doctors listed. You can even search by your current location to find the doctor closest to you. Aging is a multi-dimensional process which starts in the surface and involves subsurface structures including skin, fat, muscle and bone. So the way we determine the best treatment for anybody's aging face is by looking at the extent of aging they have in each one of those layers. The CO2 laser will address your skin surface problems like texture and fine lines and deep lines and some collagen elastin production. The radio frequency will address the skin tightness below the skin and then you can use dermal fillers such as radius or hyaluronic acid fillers to account for the loss of fat that occurs with aging as well. It is important to know what your patient needs based on their face shape and the type of aging you have. When I saw Jennifer, she originally came in asking for an option of a filler for her fine lines and deep lines above the lip and nasolabial folds. But after um, examining her, I determined that the CO2 fractional laser was probably the best choice for her. And she had the added advantage of having a tremendously great response to the CO2 laser by improving her elasticity. My only knowledge of cosmetic procedures was filler and Botox. And I was told that I would probably need a facelift a few years ago by someone else, and I was dreading the thought of going under the knife, and that wasn't for me. So I was very thrilled when she told me this is basically a facelift. And sure enough, I had it five days ago, and I am absolutely thrilled with the result. And what's even more exciting, she says the results are even better as you go a few months down the road. So I'll continue to see improvement. I am completely blown away that for as simple of a procedure that it is, it has completely changed my life. The response of um, each individual patient to these treatments is very, very different. It, it depends on their genetics, on their lifestyle, and, and so many other things, the amount of stress they may have at that time. So you cannot really have a cookbook that every patient is going to need the CO2, radiofrequency, and dermal fillers, even if they look the same at the first visit. So you really have to step back and look at their results and see how the results show up over the next several weeks before you decide to do a second treatment. Did you know that establishing a bedtime ritual helps your body know when it is time to sleep? You can establish a bedtime ritual by doing the same things, such as brushing your teeth, reading a book, or listening to soothing music every night an hour or two before bedtime to relax your mind. How do you know if you have a stomach ulcer? A lot of people have heartburn, but what's the difference between simple heartburn and a stomach ulcer? First of all, stomach ulcers are very serious. These are little erosions or uh, scooped out areas in the stomach where the acid is eaten a hole. These can bleed and cause lots of problems. You'll know they're bleeding if you have black bowel movements. That generally is uh, the color of blood as it runs through your intestines and the acid changes it to a black color. But how do you know if you have an ulcer instead of just heartburn? Here's how. First of all, when you're hungry, you'll get a little gnawing pain at the pit of your stomach, and, uh, just up at the top of your stomach. Uh, once you eat, then the food in there absorbs the acid and then you quit hurting. And then about two hours later, when the food gets out of your stomach, the acid's still there a little bit to help digest, then you'll get pain again. So you get discomfort when you're hungry, you eat, it gets better, and then it gets a little worse a couple hours later. That's usually an ulcer. Now there are blood tests for ulcers and even breath tests for ulcers, and there is great treatment. So check it out if you have those kinds of symptoms, but don't worry about just playing heartburn, just eat less pizza or whatever makes your heart burn. For additional medical minutes from Dr. Honecker, log on to bestdocsnetwork.com and click on the Medical Minute tab on the home page. For more information about any of our outstanding doctors you see on today's show, the good news is, Grace, you can head to the website, bestdocsnetwork.com. That's bestdocsnetwork.com. That's right, Jim. Now, up next, we're going to hear from plastic surgeon Dr. Robert Wilcox and how he was able to help Victoria regain her figure after having two children. I had um, two children. 
um, in the last four years, which is wonderful. I wanted to, you know, get back to my normal shape, and I, you know, started looking into getting lipo and things like that, and so I found Dr. Wilcox. Well, liposuction is still one of the most popular cosmetic procedures done nationwide, as well as in our own practice. My preferred technique is ultrasonic liposuction, and that has proven the test of time. It's been present for about almost 15 years. Rather than just literally ripping the fat out, the cannula or wand is uh, made of titanium. It's about this length. It has a hollow bore down the middle for suction. The tip of it vibrates over 20,000 times a second, and that's how it gets its name, ultrasound. And so we can just go back and forth gently until we can get about two-thirds of the thickness of the fat removed. So I came in, told Dr. Wilcox that I would like to slim down around the hips, look at some areas of the stomach where the fat wasn't coming off. So he um, explained to me, he showed me um, what all he could do and what the result would look like. I was pleased with what his expectations were. First of all, during the consultation, I make clear to them the best thing about coming to our practice is they're going to get the straight story. There are many patients every week who come in where I explain, you know, I don't think the surgery's for you. We may be able to offer a non-operative measure, or maybe they just need the encouragement to realize they don't have the problem that they perceive in the mirror. In Victoria's case, she came in requesting the breast enhancement and liposuction, so we looked at her and looked at the common areas they're usually done, and she has a nice figure, and she was close to her ideal weight, but she had enough fat on her hips and abdomen that we could help her with that and make a significant difference. I'm extremely happy with the uh, results. They've exceeded uh, my expectations as well as my husband's expectations. It is a quick recovery for such a big result that you get. It's just very exhilarating because I just have me back. Still to come, we'll learn how eating your meals at the same time every day helps to promote a healthy digestive system. Plus, see how one woman was able to receive exceptional skin care from Dr. Yadro Duchik. All this when we return. Do you have missing teeth, need crowns, veneers, partials, dentures, or a full mouth reconstruction? Prostodontist Dr. David McFadden will give you back the youthful appearance and confidence you deserve. Backed by credibility and credentials, Dr. McFadden is cosmetically changing his patients' lives one smile at a time. Call today or log on to DignityDental.com. Dr. David McFadden, your go-to dentist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Each doctor on the Best Docs Network website has their own profile page where you can watch videos on the doctor, read info on their background and training, find their office locations and directions, as well as ask the doctor a question and request an appointment. Welcome to the Best Docs Network in the studio. We're very pleased to be joined today by one of the top LASIK surgeons, not only in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but in the country, Dr. Harvey Carter. Dr. Carter, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. And now talk to us about how you started in this field. I chose this field of medicine because I love microsurgery. Um, and I, I, I found that out very early in medical school. And ophthalmology is an incredible mix of, of microsurgery, laser surgery, and, and, and wonderful, wonderful technology. And you did your undergrad at SMU. Did you always plan to come back to Dallas to start your practice? Yes, that, that was my, my goal. I, I came to SMU because of the pre-med program back in the, um, the time that we went here and <clears throat> then went to LSU Medical School in New Orleans then did my internship back here in Dallas and residency in Georgia and then back here to Dallas again. So I, I love Dallas. That's great. And you have a lot of ties to the community, very involved in the Dallas community. You're the official LASIK eye surgeon of the Dallas Cowboys. That has to be both exciting and very rewarding. That, that's been an incredible, incredible journey. And I, I, I sort of fell into that. Really? Went to a uh, charity event many, many years ago. And while we were there, there were a number of Dallas Cowboy players there. And one thing led to another. And uh, First, uh, Tony Casillas' wife came in and, and had LASIK surgery. And then 
Tony Casillas came in and had LASIK surgery. And then I think it's like 50 or 60 cowboys over time came in and, and had LASIK That's surgery. That's so fun. And what would you say sets your practice, Carter Eye Center, apart from other eye practices in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? I, I really think it's, it's personal service and, and high technology. Um, pa patients, I think, are looking for personal service, and at the same time, I think they're looking for high technology. They, they want the latest, greatest, they want the best. To see the rest of this interview, as well as other outstanding videos, head to BestStocksNetwork.com. Having a scheduled time for eating is a great way to keep your digestive system healthy. Try to sit down for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack at the same time each day. So before I met Dr. Duchik, I just felt like my skin was dull and spotty and splotchy and was constantly trying to search for makeups that would make a difference um, transitioning into my 50s. Skin care is obviously very, very important. The skin is what everybody sees. Uh, they don't see the underlying bone. If we do somebody's rhinoplasty, they're not looking at their cartilages, they're not looking at their jaws, their cheekbones, their eye sockets. They see the skin, that's the first thing that you see. So ideally you want the skin to look as good as possible. Typically Dr. Duchik does like me to see patients before they have surgery. He'll do a consultation and he'll send me in the room and say, please talk to them about skin care. Let's get their skin looking good first and then we'll, you know, discuss surgery. I always feel at home when, with Jennifer. She is a very um, well versed in skin care and she pays attention to my age and we stay really focused on what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Well, the whole point of doing cosmetic surgery on somebody is to make them look better and feel better about the way they look and more comfortable in their own skin, so to speak. And so one of the first things we always try to do is tune up the skin, uh, make the skin look as good as possible because then people oftentimes are so happy with their skin that they don't feel like they need to sometimes even do surgery. As you get older, your body kind of, you lose the collagen in your skin. Collagen's kind of like the springs in a mattress. You start to lose volume um, and you'll start to notice fine lines and wrinkles. By um, stimulating the collagen, your skin will become firmer and the wrinkles will start to dissipate. There's several th different things that we offer that help stimulate collagen, one of them being the Dermapen. It creates micro injuries to the skin, and when the skin starts to heal, it starts to rebuild collagen, which is pretty amazing. And the goal is not to do surgery. The goal is just to make somebody look better. I no longer have to search for makeups that cover up. I just feel um, younger than I thought I was gonna feel in my 50s and just feel brighter and that my skin finally is at a place where it's glowing. Prostodontics is the name of the specialty, and it's one of nine dental specialties recognized by the American Dental Association. It's a specialty that requires three years of additional training at a dental school level. It's three years dedicated to the specialty of prostodontics, which is reconstructive dentistry, including dental implants, crowns and bridges, dentures and partials, some TMJ treatment, and other small areas of, of dental reconstruction that most people will never need. A typical patient that finds our practice has needs ranging from fillings all the way up to full mouth reconstruction. We handle everything in-house. By having everything in-house, we have total control of patient outcomes, and that's our main goal here is to have fantastic outcomes. One of the biggest strengths of my practice is the amount of time we spend with each patient. It's all about education here. Every new patient is scheduled for one hour and we go through their complete diagnosis, their treatment plan, and we attempt to educate them on all the options that are available. And it's one of the things that I enjoy the most about my practice is getting to know the patient and helping them understand their problems, but also giving them several different options on how to fix their problems. We often have multiple try-ins so that we don't just make the patient look good, but we make them look fantastic because we've taken the time to pick the right tooth size, tooth shape, and tooth color that fits their complexion and their facial shape. 
Another way that my practice significantly departs from common implant treatment is that I do everything myself. I do the planning, I do the surgery, I do the teeth. It's all me and my hands fabricating these restorations for the patient. There's not a laboratory technician that comes in during the procedure and no one else touches the patient's care except me. We're committed to patients having long-term success, so we do provide all phases of services, including cleanings and maintenance. Often I frustrate my patients because I'm so picky about their outcome that we sometimes have to make changes or we have to redo the restoration if I'm not satisfied with it. But it's important to me that we get it just right for every patient, whether it takes extra time or not. Taking a multivitamin is a quick and easy way to make sure you're consuming the essential vitamins and minerals you may not be getting from food. Make sure your supplement delivers 400 IU of vitamin D, which is the dose that is said to reduce risk of early death by 7%. BestDocsNetwork.com also has a video library of all the doctor's videos that you can break down by doctor, topic, and specialty. This is a great way to find videos quickly and watch all the videos associated with your needs. I had augmentation done that went wrong. It was really, really bad. And I was a fitness instructor and I've been teaching for a really long time. And I stopped because I was so cognizant of the humongous size that I had become, which is fine for those who go to get it. That's fine, but if it's not me, it's really messing with my psyche. Janet came to see me um, because she needed some uh, revisional cosmetic surgery. She had um, a particular breast deformity where it's called capsular contraction, which is basically the breast are turning hard around the breast implants. And uh, her breast implants were basically stuck all the way up, way up inside her chest. And it, she had a lot of cleavage and it looked very unnatural. And I said, I can't, I can't continue this doctor. I really didn't want to go under the knife again, but I think I have to because I can't continue to live like this. And his suggestion was, Janet, let's get rid of everything. Let's get you healed. Let your skin retract. And then, after a few months of that, let's go back in and do what you originally wanted done. I had to do a couple of staged procedures for her because it's hard to do everything at once, and it's safer that way. If you try to rush surgery, especially revisional surgery, you can have problems. And what I had to do is I had to first take out her implants. I had to do an explantation, okay? So that was the first stage. And do a mastopexy. So basically, we took her breast and uh, took them back to normal. After a series of several months later, when she healed up, I came back and I re-implanted some new implants, put them into a different place, and I did a tummy tuck on her and some liposuction. So it really made her look really good, and she is really happy today. It's, it's, a, it's a huge change and a huge difference. You can just tell that her, her overall personality has improved significantly. It's been incredible since then. My life completely changed. I'm happy. I'm actually more confident, I think, than I've ever been because I am the way I am. I'm out, and I'm actually thinking about going back into fitness. Dr. Thornton's changed my life significantly, and every time I see him, I tell him that. You're like my savior. You changed me. I am this happy 46-year-old woman that I owe him a lot. That'll do it. That'll wrap up another edition of the Best Docs Network featuring some of the best doctors in the entire Dallas-Fort Worth area that help change people's lives. And for more information on any of these outstanding doctors, even request an appointment, you can head to the website, bestdocsnetwork.com. That's bestdocsnetwork.com. And if you have a question, a comment, or a life-changing story of your own, we love hearing from you. Just send us an email at info at bestdocsnetwork.com. There you go. So long, everyone. We will see you next week.